I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we are going to explore the power patterns. Now, these are very important and useful patterns. In many time in competitive exams and tests, we see a question related to these patterns. To begin with, we'll look into the patterns with powers of two. Question number one is use the patterns to find the last or unit digit of the following powers. And question number two is write power of two that is greater than two to the power of hundred and have last digit of six. So unit or the last digit is the units place digit, right? Okay. So to get the pattern, let us uh, write down a few powers of two and see what they are and what kind of pattern do we expect. So if I write 2 to the power of 1, we know this is equal to 2, right? If I write 2 to the power of 2, we get 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And when I get 2 to the power of 5, you will see it is 32. So I'll write 2 to the power of 5 here. So 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 2 times 32, 64. 2 to the power of 7 is 2 times 64. So it is 8 and 1, 128. 2 to the power of 8 is 2 times 128. And so we get 256. So if you look into the last digit, so the last digit 2 and 2 matches, right? Then we have 4 and 4, 8 and 8. 6 and 6. Now this is what we call as the last or the unit digit. So in any power of 2 we find a pattern right this number 2486 repeats. So if the power is a multiple of 4 in that case the last digit is 6 right but in case there is a remainder then if the remainder is 1 then the last digit is 2. Do you see that? So basically it is based on remainder. So whenever you have uh, 2 to the power of n, then what we do here is that we will divide n by 4 and then check remainder. Correct? Now, if the remainder is 1 if the remainder is let me say remainder is 1 in that case the units place is unit is the unit place is 2 do you see that for the one remainder unit place is 2 as in 2 or in 32 so the unit is 2 but if the remainder is 2 then the unit is I should say unit place value is 4 if the remainder is 3, in that case, unit is 8. If the remainder is 4, now can the remainder be 4? You are dividing by 4. So remainder cannot be 4, right? So 4 divided by itself will be 0. So I should write this as 0. So if the remainder is 0, that is, if it is a multiple of 4, then the unit is 6. So that is the pattern which is being followed. Perfect. So we have to use this pattern rule to answer our question. So now let us see how to answer it. It says use the patterns to find the last or the unit digit of the following powers. Now the power here is 2 to the power of 18. So what we are going to do? So to test 2 to the power of 18, what you have to do is you have to divide 18 by 4 and check the remainder. Okay. So, so 4 goes 4 times, so it is 4, remainder 2. Now since the remainder is 2, so what is the last digit? For 2, the remainder, the last digit should be 4. Right? So we have 4 as our answer. Right? So the last digit in this case is 4. Is that clear? Now in case of 2 to the power of 31, you have to divide 31 by 4. So when you divide, 4 times 7 is 28 and the remainder is 3. 
for 3 the last digit is 8 and so we get the units place as 8 and so this answer is 8 and for 5 or 1 so when you do 2 to the power of 5 or 1 then divide 5 or 1 by 4 correct so if it is a difficult division you can do it on the side so I've left this space for the same so we are dividing 5 or 1 by 4 so 4 times 1 is 4 we get 10 here 4 times 2 is 8 and we get 2 bring down 1 4 times 5 is 20 and so the remainder is 1 so we can write this as equal to 125 the remainder 1 since the remainder is 1 the ones place should be 2 so we get this answer as 2 right so these are ones or unit digits the last digits right which we have shown above and so we get the answer 2 for this correct now let's look into question number 2 which says right power of 2 that is greater than 2 to the power of 100 and have last digit of 6 now last digit of 6 means multiple of 4 what the index or the exponent n is multiple of 4 correct now 100 is a multiple of 4 so the next higher will be 104 right so we could write this as 2 to the power of 104 so write the power of 2 that is greater than this and have a last digit of 6 so 2 to the power of 104 will have a value with last or the units digit as 6 right since it evenly goes in 4 does make sense to you so that is how we have to use the power patterns of 2 to answer similar questions so i hope this concept is absolutely clear i'll take up more examples similar to this just for practice but i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best